Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the 8th video in the Leap Code 75 study plan series. So this problem is going to be called uh, increasing triplet subsequence in its ranked medium difficulty. However, going through the problem prior to this video, it's pretty easy. Um, I'm kind of surprised that it's ranked as a medium. And to be honest, the last couple of medium problems that we've had in this series have been relatively easy. In fact, I would say easier than the easy ranked problems earlier in this series. So it's kind of uh, ironic to me. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and dive right into the problem. Um, okay, so it's pretty straightforward instructions. Given an integer array nums return true if there exists a triple of indices i, j, and k such that i is less than j and j is less than k and nums i is less than nums j and nums j is less than nums k if no such indices exist return false so yeah like i said pretty straightforward basically they're just looking for uh consecutive uh three numbers that are increasing uh so you can see in the example output uh it's true for one two three four or five because those are all increasing and then false because five four three two one there's no increasing numbers in that sequence uh, I think you guys get it. Uh, so let's go ahead and implement the uh, the code solution. Uh, so uh, basically what we want to do is take advantage of the integer max value that Java has um, built in. So basically we want to make uh, a minimum value, excuse me, we want to make a minimum value and then a second minimum value and then go through a for loop and then, and then a uh, two conditional statements, uh, an if, an else if, and an else. So I guess three actually. Um, and that is going to uh, basically be our solution. I'll, 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 sh I'll explain as we go. So uh, we'll do int min equals integer. Oh, my typing today. Wow. Max value. Okay. And then second min integer max value. Okay. So uh, since we're going to be iterating through every single value in this, uh, in this array, we can use a for each loop. So for those of you who are new to Java and haven't used this before, it's pretty simple. It's just uh, int, we can say int in, in the array nums. And then it's going to iterate through every single value starting from the zero index to the last. Um, so that's why we're using the max value, right? Because through the first run, we're gonna wanna compare if n is less than or equal to uh, min, then min is going to equal n. And then we're gonna do the second thing, that, or the same thing for the second one, except we're gonna use n is less than or equal to second min, second min, equals n, right? So in the first run, of course, the two values, the two first values are going to be less than the integer dot max value, right? Because basically what that is, is it's the highest possible value in, in, uh, for, for an integer data structure. And, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and then we'll do else return true. So this is, like I said, pretty straightforward. It just checks for three basically increasing values using two minimum numbers. Um, and then it just has to loop through once. So it's a it's an efficient, quick, easy solution. And then uh, before I forget, we just have to return false if it doesn't find uh, an increasing triplet. So let's go ahead and submit this. All right, there we have it. So um, in terms of time complexity, uh, it's going to be big O of n because it's going through, because uh, n would be considered the size of the array, right? And it's going through once. So it's constant runtime. Uh, and then for the space complexity, we're not using uh, any extra data structures uh, to put the array in or anything like that. So we have uh, 
a space complexity of big O of one. So uh, back in the instructions, it said follow up. Could you implement a solution that runs in big O of n time complexity and big O of one space complexity? Uh, and the answer to that is yes, we just did that. Um, so that's probably what the answer they're going to be looking for. Um, if you go to a job interview and they ask you this question instead of setting up a, a brute force uh, algorithm for this, that would be big O of n to this uh, to the second power of n squared. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you found it helpful, please go ahead and like um, and subscribe to my channel because we're going to be going through every single problem in the Leak Code 75 study plan. Uh, so please, I, I'd, I'd like you to tag along for that for that journey. Um, and if you have any suggestions for other Leak Code problems that I do, go ahead and drop that in the comments. Or if you have any suggestions for videos I do in general, uh, related to computer science and software engineering, then please go ahead and leave them in the suggestions. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing from y'all. All right, see you in the next video.